Okay, so I'm at the airport waiting for my flight and sitting here doing a little bit of work wanting to tell you all about where I'm going, what I'm doing, why I'm heading to Melbourne, which is of course to attend the Allied Health Awards tomorrow night at the Arts Centre in Melbourne. And in case you missed it, I've been nominated and selected as a finalist in the category of Psychologist of the Year. To me, it's... Um, you know, it's one of these things where you kind of go through the motions and go through the motions and go through the motions and then stop and realise actually this is something that means something to me. So I've not talked very much about it because it was, um, I guess, on, on the back burner while I focused on other things in my day to day. And now that I'm sitting here reflecting on going to Melbourne and going to this award ceremony tomorrow night and realising what it actually means to have been selected as a finalist, it's, um, it's actually a bit special. So uh, these, these awards, you know, the, the finalists are selected and the judges are all a panel of professionals in the allied health professions. Um, some of the judges have had to exclude themselves from judging my, uh, my um, ap application, if that's a word, my nomination, because they're friends of mine. Um, so I don't know who's been on the judging panel. I don't know what categories uh, what other categories they've looked at. I don't know what criteria they use for choosing um, the winner at the end of the day. But what's been interesting in my reflections on all of this has been how different it feels from any other thing I've done before in my life. Because I think being a psychologist is the thing that I've worked hardest at. And I've been a psychologist for almost 20 years now, so it's taken up a large chunk of my life. And, um, you know, and running my own psychology business with psychologists and social workers and OTs and counsellors and wonderful admin staff has been, you know, an immense challenge and an immensely gratifying experience. And that business itself is 10 years old. So I think, um, reflecting on my journey as a psychologist, reflecting on all of the things that have contributed to my journey as a psychologist, and all of the people who've contributed to my journey as a psychologist. So I'm super excited to be going to this award ceremony in Melbourne tomorrow night because I feel like I'm gonna know half the room. So I feel like it's gonna be a bit of a party. And so no matter what the outcome is in my category, um, I'm just super, super excited to celebrate these awards with the people who I know super well and love dearly and, um, and to celebrate how hard everybody has worked to be there. I think that's probably the key thing. Uh, my work with my mentoring clients is all about coming out of isolation, coming out of the dark as a business owner, coming forward into the light, getting support, getting encouragement, working, taking action, taking on a, an, an, on a growth mindset so that you can build towards achieving your goals and um, so everyone in this in the room at these awards tomorrow night they're all people who've done just that they are all people who've taken action towards achieving their goals they are all people who have made a conscious decision and put in conscious effort to uh, excel at what they do so for me celebrating that with all of those people tomorrow night this is going to be fantastic uh, reflecting on my own work with my mentoring clients. One of my mentoring clients is uh, going to be there. She's a finalist in another category, so I'm super excited to support her as well. Um, and reflecting on the work that all of these professionals have done in their profession to support their communities. Um, it's going to be an exciting night. So, yeah, it'd be nice to win. I mean, wouldn't it be nice to win? I think everybody, when they're honest, you know, it's nice to win something. Um, I've never really won anything before. I've been in lots of things. I've thrown my hat into the ring for lots of things, but not so much in the psychology profession. So to be selected by my peers as a finalist is awesome. So that's not my flight. I don't have to run. So um, being a finalist truly is exciting, truly is enough. Um, being, you know, selected as the Australian Psychologist of the Year would indeed rock, let's be honest. Um, but if I don't, if I don't win that title, I actually feel like this is the culmination of a, a project, if you like, of working towards standing in my um, values, 
of growth mindset, hard work, working towards, towards your passion and whatever your passion is, whatever it is that you are passionate about working towards, whether it's your own business or something else, putting in the hard work, making the conscious decision to do that, putting in the effort, you know, you're a winner no matter what comes when you make those decisions in your life. So I will keep you posted as I travel forward uh, over the weekend. I'll let you know how I get on. Keep an eye on my Instagram and Facebook stories because there'll be some stuff going on in there for you to have a look at. And uh, a little bit of silliness, a little bit of laughter, a little bit of mayhem. And I um, look forward to catching you soon. Have a great Friday and fabulous weekend ahead. Bye for now.